Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to store the data in our MySQL database using Spring Boot. Previously, we had made a REST controller and returned a string message over here. So now we are going to store the student details. In order to store the student details, we need the model for the student and the service and the repository. So we we'll just create those packages. Say new and click on package model a new package and say service new package called repository okay so first we'll go to the model and create a java class and we will name it as student okay and over here we will annotate this with add entity and I'm going to say private integer ID and give the annotation of ID okay and this is going to be an generated value so we are not going to give it manually so just give the annotation over here called generated value and inside this we need to pass the strategy and that is generation type auto yeah so just save that and then we are going to have a private string the name of the student then I'll just add the email and you can just give the role number okay yeah so this will be enough for now we will add the at getter and set our annotations for that so if you're not having this Lombok dependency or you're not able to use this you can directly click here and say generate and you have getter and setter over here so you can just click that and select your fields it will just generate the code for that so this annotation reduces that boilerplate code so for now this is enough so in case we are using builder we will just add it over here so the model is done so you can just save and now let's go to the repository and say new java class and we are going to create an interface say student repository okay and this one is going to extend the jpa repository say jpa repository and here you need to mention your table name so that is student and the primary key for that so it is an integer type right so you need to mention this over here okay so now coming to the service and here say new java class and that is going to be an interface say student service and we are going to create an folder over here a new package called IMPL and we will implement all these services inside this folder say new class student service IMPL okay say implements student service so now we are going to write our logic in this service IMPL file. So we'll start with the controller and let's say public student say save student. This is going to be a post mapping. 
and we will give the route as create or you can give it as store whatever you like and here we will take the request body say request body and this is going to be of type student okay so this object we have to send it to the service class so the service class will process that and store it using the repository so to access the service class over here we need to inject it over here so i will just say student service and we have to use the at auto wired annotation over here okay so this will give us the bean for this and now you can just say return student service dot create or whatever method you can create in your service class and pass the student object or here okay so we'll create this function in our student service class i mean the interface you can say public this is returning a type of student and it will take a uh, input of student type just import this okay and now you have to implement this in your impl file okay if you just hover here implement methods okay and yeah it is over here so let me just show you from the controller we are sending the post request with the body and the body is being sent to the student service dot create method and this is implemented in your impl file so over here what we are going to do is we are going to use this student repository to save the data in our database so let's inject the repository over here say at auto wired and we are going to write the student repository copy this and say dot save method okay so you don't have to create the save method the repository the jp repository has this method so you just have to pass your object in that and done so it will just save and return that user object and this is going to return it to the service and then to the controller which we will be returning to the client so if you are getting the request through postman this will be returned as a response so the database connection we had done in the previous video itself i'll just show you in your resources application dot properties we have this database called students and this is the configuration for that just close it and let's open up postman and before that we need to run the application i'll just run the application and i'll show you the database so you can see here tables we have no tables over here in our students database let me just refresh you can see nothing and once this thing is done the table will be automatically created over there and before that we have to mention this i forgot to mention over here in your service class you need to annotate this with add service okay and similarly even for your impl you can just do that say add service I'll just stop the application for now yeah so you're done with this and the controller must be annotated as rest controller the model should be annotated as entity and the repository requires no annotation so now you can just rerun the application So you can see it is started on port 8080. So let's go to our postman and type 
localhost colon adat slash so in your controller we will just give the request mapping or here and let's say slash students okay and paste it out here students slash we have given it as create or store right say store yeah paste it out here change it to post method and in the body go to raw change this to json and over here we have the name just give test and we have the email let's say test at gmail.com have the role number just give something and you can just check your model or here you have name email and role number also you have the id over here right so you need to pass the id it will not store that id but we need to pass it because we are using this as the data type of our request so i'll just go over here and say id colon you can leave it like zero okay and now you just send this send so you can see guys it is stored so let's check the database go over here and in the tables refresh and over here you can see you got the student table you can just view the data you can see here you got your details over here and you can see the id is auto generated over here and not the one which we sent so we'll go back to this and change the data say so here home home at gmail.com change the roll number to 567 send you can see the data is stored and it is returned as the response over here you can just refresh and check so you can see here the data is stored over here the one which you just sent from the postman okay so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to store the data into our mysql database using spring boot using rest apis so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you